This is our second chance tournament. Up first, the runner-up duel. Both of you guys came this close to winning your rounds last time, but you didn't quite seal the deal. The duels start now. My name is Rick Rabjohn, I'm 58 years old. The last time I was here, it was the balance of my sword that did me in. I wish I would've won, and that's why I'm back here again today. Give it another go. I'm Michael Sarand, I'm from Tucson, Arizona. Last time I was here, it was so close. It would mean so much to me if I make it through this duel to the final round. I'd really love a second shot. Since you guys both came in second place last time you were here, we've decided to make this competition all about twos. Today, we do not want you to make a blade. We want you to make two different blades. A Damascus dagger and a Damascus chopper. Your duel starts now. They're two very different blades. One built for, you know, stabbing and slicing, and the other one built for chopping. Dagger is a little more complicated than the chopper. I got the chopper to length and pretty much to width. Whew. As the clock is ticking, I wish I was a little bit further with these blades. But as I'm grinding, I'm realizing that, hey, you know what? The forge wells went well. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to move on to the quench. All right, well, he's got one in there. Yay! I'm delighted. I've got two hardened blades. Now I got to temper it. All right, Rick is working on his handle. That's good. What I'm going to do full tang. So in this way, I just put scales on both sides of the tang and leave it at that. We got that done. Now we work on this one. He's got a handle in his dagger, and now he's putting a handle onto his chopper. As the clock is ticking, I still have a lot of work to do to shape the handles and put the final sharpening. It's going to come right down to the wire, but I'm confident I'm going to make it. We got Rick etching. Oh, good. Right on. You can color me impressed. Told him to make two blades. That is one hell of a feat. Biggest concern is making two knives out of Damascus in five hours. That's out of control. I've never done that before. Instead of just sitting looking at the steel heat up, I have time to get my handle materials ready. Look how much Mike has already accomplished. Billet's drawn out to almost being blade size. At this point, my knives are really taking shape. They look solid. Now it's time to quench. The time constraints are a little bit challenging, heat treating two blades back to back. I need to nail my heat treat. Boom! After quenching my chopper, I don't think it's hard enough. The file doesn't skate quite as easily as I want it to. Second quench puts a bunch of stress on his blade. I have to do it again. This time it works. I don't have any more time to waste. It's time to move on to the dagger. It's a little bit thinner. It has two cutting edges, so I have to make sure that he is even more even than it was in my chopper. All right, dagger quench. It's straight. I've got a chunk of mesquite wood from earlier, and I have to attach handles to two knives. There is a lot of work to do in not very much time. I've got to get going. I have a dagger on a two-inch square block handle. That is not going to fly. I blast through the block trying to get that handle to something that is comfortable enough. Key is enough. I'm trying to dribble a little bit of glue because I'm afraid I don't have enough epoxy to make everything stick together right. I'm at the grinder with both my dagger and my chopper. At this stage, I feel like I'm sprinting between tasks and I keep bouncing between these two knives. Five, four, three, two, one. Gentlemen, turn off your machines, put down your tools. This duel is over. All right, runners up, it's time for our doubled up strength test. Stab and chop. I'm gonna take your daggers, stab them into our stump here, and then I'll take your choppers and attack both the posts and the skulls. Michael, you're up first on this, are you ready? Uh, yes. It didn't break. 
did not break. All right, Mike, start with your dagger. Uh, right off the weight and feel of this blade, I mean, this is super comfortable. I could play with this all day. Got a wicked edge and a wicked point on it, which I really like. I poked it in there, it dug in deep and held up fine. What I don't like is that, you know, that leather spacer you put in here, you then covered it with crazy glue. And that turned it into some sharp edges. When you're thrusting into something, it's not really a good thing. As far as your chopper goes, again, nice weight on this. You didn't take really any damage. This is still a wicked sharp blade. So all in all, nice set, well done. Thank you. All right, Rick, you're up next, you good? Yeah. All right, let's yes, do it. That's great. So right off the bat, Rick, this is a heavy dagger. There's a lot of metal there. Um, what really got me was all this right around here. There are kind of sharp, jagged edges. And since the handle doesn't really have any contouring, there's no way to keep off that guard. Now on your chopper, again, that's a lot of material there. But it does have an edge, and that edge didn't take damage. So that's great. They held up very, very well. So good job. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths, we know your weapons are strong, but are they sharp? This is the water tube slice and the canvas bag stab and slice. To find out how sharp your weapons are, I'm gonna take your weapons and slash across these water tubes and canvas bag. Double your weapons, double the slice, double the nice. <laughs> Mike, you're up first, you ready for this? Oh yeah. All right, let's do this. Oof. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, Michael. Off the bat, these feel really good. Even though they're two different designs, they feel equally balanced on both hands. And they are wicked sharp. On the slash, on the water tubes, very clean slice. You have a sharp edge here, sir. Also on the stabbing and slashing with your dagger, those are very clean cuts. Overall, sir, both your weapons, they will cut. <laughs> Sweet. All right, Rick, are you ready, sir? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we're going to do it anyways. We're going to do it. <laughs> All right, Rick, let's talk about your weapons here. First up. These are heavy beasts. You know, even for a dagger, it's a very forward, heavy weight. The same with your chopper. So chopper is expected. For a dagger, it's very heavy. But I was still able to cut cleanly. You have a sharp edge on your chopper here. Overall, sir, they will cut. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Very well done, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> but only one of you guys can leave here with a check for $2,000 and a spot in the final leg of the second chance tournament. The bladesmith who won this duel is... Michael, congratulations. You're moving forward into the final round of the second shot tournament. Fortunately, Rick, that means you're not gonna be moving forward. I'm gonna have to ask you to please leave. Okay, take care, buddy. Listen, good job. Last time my competitor's laid was just better balanced than mine. I still can't get it right. I agree with the judge's uh, decision, but I'm also proud of what I accomplished in getting through this tough challenge. It was fun and always good to meet other bladesmiths, and once again, it's been a great experience. Hey, if there's a third chance tournament, I'm in. Michael, congratulations, man. That means you broke the second place curse and you came out on top <laughs> of your duel, which also means you're moving forward into the final round of our tournament, and you are leaving here with a check for $2,000. So congratulations, <laughs> man. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you. We will see you for the second round of this tournament. Winning feels incredible. This challenge was the hardest smithing challenge I've ever done. Knowing that, I can't even begin to imagine what's next. 
the next stage of this competition is gonna be that much harder. Every one of the Smiths in the next round have already won, so I know they're gonna bring their best. I have to bring my best. It's gonna be brutal.